Hello and welcome you guys to my new lectures on the harmonic series. Nick, I'm sick and tired of writing it down, but I have to, so I will just write it down again. It's 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 and so forth. So uh, what did we find out? First of all, we found out in the video, in the first video, we found out that there uh, is no limit to this series. If you add all the natural numbers and their reciprocal value, so 1 over the natural number, and add them together, you will get to an infinite sum. In the second video, I, I showed you how we could use this idea that the harmonic series is diverging and uh, conclude from that that there are infinitely many prime numbers. In the third video, I showed you that this strange series is so shitty that it never gets an uh, integer number out of it. If you would take the case with only one out of it, if you add all these numbers up from uh, 1 plus 1 half, uh, you will only get fractions and you will never get an integer number or natural number. Okay? So this was the third video. In this lecture, I want to show you another cool thing. Now, actually, this is called Cauchy integral or not Cauchy integral actually, it's, it's called the Cauchy approximation. And what this does is it's looking at a function, okay? I take the values 1, 2, 3, 4, and I just continue this. I could continue this. I won't do this. And I will look at these values. Actually, this is 1 over 1, okay? This is 1 over 2, and if I would use a generating function, I could write this as this, okay? This is f of x equals 1, this is 2, 3, and so forth. So this is looking like this function. Okay, I will draw this function in. I hope I can still draw it in some way. So actually how this is looking like, it's looking like this. It's going down. Now, we look at these values. This is 1, this is 1 half, this is 1 over 3, this is 1 over 4, this is 1 over 5, and so forth. So actually what we get is, we get something like an estimation, okay? Why do I say estimation? If I look at this, and I will do this like steps here, okay? These are little small steps. Then what you would see is that this okay this is something like the area okay this has the area of one times one which is just one this is the area of one because the length is one here and the height is actually these values we always get one over th two one over three one over four actually you know by uh, this going to infinity, you will get an even a better and better. Your result will get better, and your approximation will get better. So actually, what we can say that this sum, the harmonic series, is somehow related. I will just write it down. Is somehow related to the area below the function. Okay. Okay, if this is f of x. And if you are having calculus, okay, and you, you had differentials, and now you maybe know what area is, what, how can one calculate the area? The area below a curve can be calculated by an integral from 1, okay, I'm starting by 1 from here, and I go to a big number n, okay? This can be calculated as the integral over 1 over x dx. And if you had the exponential function, the natural logarithm, then you know this is actually equal to the log of n. Why is this? Because uh, the uh, antiderivative of that is log of x, and we have the boundaries n, 1, so this gives you log n minus the log of 1, but this is actually 0, okay? This is where we have this. Now, 
how can one use this okay and actually now we can use this to say okay if I had this harmonic series and I'm ta talking about very very large numbers okay that I'm entering here so our n is very very large one can s so one can do something and actually you can say this is actually equal to the logarithm of n now okay you must know that this formula is not it, it's just an approximation I'm not yeah, um, giving you the exact formula what this is equating to but what one can find out is if you have the harmonic series and subtract from it this uh, the logarithm of n and if you would take the limit of this the limit n to infinity what one will get is a number called c or gamma okay this number is I think approximately 1.5 and it go uh, one, uh, 0.51 and it continues this is called the Euler Mascheroni or, or something like this. It's, it's related to Euler because Euler uh, worked on that. He was a big guy in that time. He also had the, the proof of the prime numbers. And this is for infinitely high numbers. So what this actually is telling you that this logarithm is never estimating the harmonic series exactly so even if you go to infinity you will at least have this error okay and what is interesting about this number until today it's not known if this number is irrational so if you want to get famous in mathematics sit down and try to show that this is irrational if you prove this you are a big man okay so guys I hope you have a lot of fun on working on the harmonic series in the next video we will talk about the generalized harmonic series aka the Euler Riemann function the Euler zeta function and there is actually a Riemann zeta function so see you guys and uh, please subscribe if you like my videos because there are many many other videos coming up okay see you guys